Have you ever been afraid of using public transport at night? You can find terrible things there early in the morning, from drunk cards going back home from a party to muggers who will try to steal your phone and wallet. However, what I saw that one time on the bus was much more terrifying. My name is Monica and I work the night shift at a call center. It's not the best job out there, but I live alone, I have bills to pay and it's the best job I've found so far. I remember that this happened on a Friday because I saw people partying in the streets, which wasn't very amusing since I had to work that weekend. My office is located at the outskirts of the city, but fortunately there is a bus route that leaves me near my house. I waited for my bus alone in the dark like I usually do. I didn't care since I was used to it. Once the bus arrived, I went and sat at one of the middle seats near a guy who seemed to be a university student. He was listening to music and checking his notes. Apart from the driver, there was nobody else there and everything was silent. But then, four or five stops later, when we were going through an industrial neighborhood, three men got on the bus. They caught my attention because they were dragging another man from his shoulders. He was looking down and his hair covered his face. I assumed they were coming back from a party and that the guy they were dragging was so drunk he couldn't stand up. Although I found it weird for them to be in that area since there were no bars nor nightclubs there. They walked through the bus without looking at anybody then dropped their friend on one of the seats in the back and sat by his side. Nobody else got on the bus for the rest of the route and I couldn't stop thinking about those men. I had a bad feeling about them. I looked at them over my shoulder and I saw how the head of the drunk guy jumped from one side to the other out of control. After each turn and bounce the bus made. One of the men saw me, glared at me threateningly and thus I looked away immediately. However, curiosity was killing me. I thought about taking my makeup mirror out of my purse. I pretended to look at it, but I was actually using it to look at where the drunk guy was. When I took a better look at him, I realized he looked very pale, but I assumed that was due to the alcohol too. The bus bounced again due to a pothole and the drunk guy's hair was pushed away revealing his face. I froze in shock after seeing his eyes completely opened and vitreous looking. He was looking directly at me without any reaction. But what impacted me the most was his facial expression which showed pure horror. I turned around a bit and saw that the same man as before was looking at me again. He realized what I was doing with my mirror. I immediately closed it trying to play dumb and held my breath. I didn't dare to look back and only wanted to get home. And suddenly I felt a hand on my shoulder and looked up in fear. It was the university student with a worried expression making a gesture to get off the bus at the next stop with him. I obeyed without thinking it twice. I really wanted to get out of there. Once the bus went away, the student confirmed my worst fear. He was actually a medicine student and the guy those men were dragging around had all the signs of rigor mortis. Rigid body, purple hands and glassy eyes. He wasn't drunk, he was dead. We called the police and gave a description of the three men. And that was the last time I ever got into a bus. With the few savings I had, I bought a second hand car. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you on the next episode.